One of my most popular videos is about my roll-off business. And because of my collaboration with Lake Champlain Sanitation, I have a lot of subscribers that are in the garbage business or the roll-off business. My waste management company, Superior Disposal, has over 200 roll-offs and I just ordered more last week. The roll-off business can be very lucrative if done correctly. And if you didn't know this already, I do coaching calls. You can book a call in the description of any of my videos. Most of these coaching calls end up being with people that are interested in getting into the roll-off business. Because of the advent of the roll-off trailer, which can be pulled with a pickup, there's been an influx of people that want to get into the roll-off business. So I thought I'd do a video so people understand that it's not all sunshine and rainbows and there are several things that will absolutely kill your business. You should understand these things before you go and make an investment into this business. Guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Travis and I made this channel to catalog my life as an entrepreneur and multiple business owner and also hopefully to inspire somebody to make an investment or start a business. I've made millions of dollars doing the exact things that I talk about on this channel. I make videos about my garbage business, my propane business, real estate, business in general, and my scrapyard and really anything that I find interesting. If you like this type of content, I hope you would consider subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and turning your bell notifications on. And if you have an opinion about what I'm talking about in the video, please feel free to leave a comment. So let's get the obvious thing out of the way first. If the economy slows or stalls, things like the roll-off business will be one of the first things that stop. Business moguls Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg have both warned recently that we may be facing a very rough recession. These are people that are operating huge businesses and they're seeing from the top what's happening in the economy. The Federal Reserve has been raising interest rates and usually this ends up in a stock market crash and a recession. How deep that recession goes is yet to be seen. To be clear, established roll-off companies in the right areas will only see a slowdown. But if you only have a few roll-offs and you do things like garage cleanups, you may be one of the ones that gets hit the hardest because consumers tend to cut back on things like this when the economy slows. Bigger companies usually have term contracts on big jobs or other revenue streams like residential routes that can carry them through tough times. They also usually have less debt in comparison to their assets, which brings me to my next point. Most of the people I talk to on these coaching calls about the roll-off business are financing all of their equipment. This is fine in times of economic expansion, but in a recession, this could be the black death. If your revenue streams slow down and you're having a hard time making ends meet, this is one problem. But the other problem is that if you decide to try to sell your equipment in the bad times, you may find that there's a lot less buyers and the prices that these buyers are willing to pay are much lower than they were in good economic times. So you may not be able to just simply sell your equipment and pay off your debt and get out. You may get trapped and have to come out of your own pocket just to pay off the equipment even if you sell it. And this is actually a pretty good segue into my next point which is growth can kill you. If you're good at what you do and the opportunity is right, your business will flourish. Opportunities will come your way. But because the roll-off business is not quite as profitable as people think, you're gonna have to pay for a lot of this growth either out of your own pocket or through financing. I did a video a while back on this called zero to $800,000, what I've learned in the roll-off business. What I explain in this video is that you should expect to make about $100 to $150 per turn on your roll-offs. Roll-offs today, depending on what size you get, are between $5,000 and $8,000. So you would have to do at least 50 turns with that roll-off to pay it off. And that's assuming you don't have any other costs and you're not taking money out to live on. This is if you just used all of your profit. So most people rely primarily on financing, which like I said earlier, could ultimately kill you. Also, if you are successful and you continue to grow, you'll eventually have to hire a driver because you can't haul all those boxes yourself. Making the jump from driving yourself to paying somebody to drive for you might be a lot harder than you think. Not only is this gonna hurt your margins in a big way, but it's also going to bring up a lot of regulatory things that are going to 
further take up your time and hurt your margins. But the biggest thing I would tell you that you need to be concerned about when you're starting a roll-off business that would contribute to the long-term success of your business is working with the landfills can be extremely difficult. A lot of times this is your main competitor, so they don't want to make you a deal. On top of that, they have a limited amount of space that they can fill, so it's not in their best interest to make you a deal. The only way a landfill will make you a deal is if you can bring significant volumes and if these volumes are volumes that they could not get any other way. I did a video a long time ago about negotiating tactics and how I got to deal with the landfill, but the truth is, if you can't grow your volumes big enough, you're never gonna get a deal. So even if you do grow your volumes big enough, there's gonna be a time of suffering from when you start to when you get big enough that you're going to have to pay high landfill fees. At some point, you may have enough that you can negotiate a better rate, but they're not gonna do it until you get there. So there's gonna be this long time. For me, it was like three years that we were having to pay the same landfill fee that if a guy came up with a pickup truck and a trailer, he was paying. And honestly, the only way that I got there is because my business had multiple revenue streams that contributed towards the tonnage that it was bringing in. I get a lot of tons from my front load business, I get a lot of tons from my rear load business, and I get a lot of tons from my roll-off business. And even with all of that combined, I'm still a very small player in the grand scheme of things. But because I have so much residential business in the area around the landfill, if they don't work with me, I'll take it to another landfill and they'll never get it. So I have significant volumes for the area and these are customers that if they don't work with me, I have another option and they will go away. So they kind of have to work with me at this point. So now that you've heard all the negatives, if you're still interested, this is the advice I would give you. Don't get over leveraged. Debt is like poison when it goes against you. And make up your mind and decide from the beginning who you want to be. There's nothing wrong with being a small guy with a few boxes, if that's who you want to be. So in that case, you might finance your boxes and then use every extra penny to pay that debt off. Then once your debt's paid off and you have a handful of boxes, you just haul your own boxes, everything is um, insulated. If there's a downturn because you don't have any debt and life goes on, you're living the dream. If you wanna be a big company, figure that out from the get-go. Maybe approach a financial partner or at least think through the amount of debt you're going to have to take on to get to your end goal and how you can do that in a smart way. You should also understand if you want to be big, you probably won't make any money for yourself for years. I decided from the very beginning that I wanted to be a big regional company. So for almost four years now, I've not taken a single penny out of my business. It all gets reinvested back into growth. But I understood this and planned this in the beginning. Know who you want to be and make it happen. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna put up my original roll-off video right here and also the video on negotiations, and I'll see you soon in the next video.